so I'm packing right now, but I feel like it's too hard. I just never know what to take. And like I have stuff over there, but I can't remember what I have. I'm like, <sighs> I just hate knowing that I have stuff like here and there, but I can't remember. And then like if I don't take it, then I'll be like, I need my stuff. But then I can always buy stuff, but I don't want to buy stuff. And, oh, it's a struggle. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to pack. Literally, I have everything like laid out in the thing, even my suitcase, because I don't know what to take. It's the day before my flight. I don't know I'm crying because I'm coming back, but the hardest part about living in two places is that you have to leave. Leave hard, honestly. I don't like having to leave, but I mean, I always say to myself, I'm coming back. It's funny because usually when I leave Costa Rica, I'm not sad. Like, I don't, I don't think I ever cried. Maybe the first time I did. Like, the last few times that I've had to leave, I don't cry, but I just feel like this one's different. It's just sad. I think I'm finally done packing. However, I think I'm taking too much stuff because I always end up buying more things. So if I'm taking like a full suitcase, I can't buy anything else. And then I still have stuff over there that I need to bring back. I have like a bunch of shoes. I don't know what to do. Hi guys, it's currently almost 6 a.m. I just took a shower and yeah, I'm getting ready. I don't think my flight's even until like almost two o'clock. However, I live like, well, Obviously, I have to get there like three hours ahead since the international flight, which would be like 11. And then I live like two hours away. And then my dad needs to do a few things. We're gonna live like at 6 30. I'm gonna promise myself I'm not buying anything else because I do not need anything new. Only maybe like a little pair of shoes or something. But I just have too many. And I don't know how I'm gonna bring them back because I'm not gonna go back for a little while, like once I come back. So. We'll see how that turns out. I might have to have a suitcase just full of shoes, honestly. I think I'm gonna wear my Birkenstocks because I was gonna wear my dogs just because they're really heavy and to not put them in my bag, but it's just. I wore them when I came, right? But I mean, now it's gonna be summer over there, so it'll be like hot. And they're kind of heavy too, like just walking in them, so I think I'm gonna wear my sandals. And also, like, taking it on and off is annoying. Like at the airport security, it was called TSA. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna wear some sandals. And yeah, I'm excited, but at the same time, I don't wanna leave. But I'll be back, I'll be back. Yeah, this is the my, like, final outfit. It just has like a tank top, and then I put this one on top. It's like long sleeve, but it's mesh. And then my jeans, and then my Birkenstock. My hair, I don't know if to put it up really like this because once it dries, it will not look like this. I know I need to paint my nails, my toenails, because they look crusty. I don't know nobody's gonna be looking at my feet, but like, I just don't like looking bad. So, I'm about to paint them. So, we're on our way now. Um, are you sad, bestie? Uh, are you sad, bestie? Yeah, bestie. Let's see, my dad needs to go fix his glasses or something and then I think we're gonna get breakfast and then we'll go to um, the airport but my flight's only until like 2 p.m. and right now it's like 6 30 so we have time <laughs> to get breakfast. We had to wait in the car for like an hour. Well, it wasn't an hour, it was like 20 minutes. So I forgot to make an update when we left the restaurant, but it was good like always. I got gallo pinto and Wells French and some stuff. And now we're over here at my grandparents' house. I'm gonna say bye to them. Update, I came with my aunt to pick up my grandma. <laughs> I saw my grandpa, he was still in his pajamas and stuff, so talking crazy. Well, he wasn't talking crazy, he was just talking about how he can't hear. And that he learned to not listen, so he just, like, doesn't listen to people. <laughs> and yeah, now we're here uh, getting my grandma, because she was, like, at the doctor or something. And then my grandpa has an appointment, too, and he's, like, in his pajamas. He's like, I have time, I have time. It's only till 2 o'clock, and it's like, well, it's not... 
10, but still, my aunt says that he takes all long getting ready. <laughs> recording i hope i don't miss my flight though um it got delayed but like i have to walk a ton like this airport is fine i have to get on a train and stuff oh my gosh and hold on to handrails okay so i made it through i think i'm gonna make it to my flight it's only 9 19 and i think this thing said that we're leaving at 10 10 so i'll make it There would have been more people at TSA and stuff, I wouldn't have made it. Also, I have a hat for you guys to give me exit row seats. And both flights have been empty and it's always empty. For me, have you both started at all carry on idle recording She's gonna go over to the rivals, so I, she said that like 10 minutes ago, so she's probably already here. Oh, I'm waiting for my bag now. None of them have come out, so who knows how long this is gonna take. Mm, it's about to have time! <laughs> Nice, it does look nice. How are you, Midgey? Good. <laughs> this is cute because 
Check out a deal up in from here. I can see my sister. My sister's about to leave. I'm not gonna miss her. So it's currently like 5 a.m. My sister just left. Honestly, I'm not sad. My girl woke me up because apparently her bag was like overweight or something. So she had to switch everything from one suitcase to another. Like her carry-on bag, or I don't know what she did. She's like throwing all this stuff. I was like, there's like wrappers and like, I mean, she's just on my nerves. And she was doing all this talking. Then my mom was like, take out this because that makes it overweight and just wear it. <laughs> she's like, no, because I don't have a leather closet to go with me. I was like, you can just take it out when you get there if you need it. She's like, no, it's because then she was like acting all crazy and then i hear her say yeah it's because i wore that jacket last time on the plane and i was just like so cold so the mom was like oh well if you would have just said that i wouldn't have made a big deal about you taking it out and she's she just i don't know honestly like three hours with her is enough for the entire year she's just like so high maintenance she's crazy she's like a 12 year old but She's 23. I don't say I'll miss her. Like, I miss my twin. I really miss her. She's just too much. I just. Bye. <laughs> I think I'm gonna vlog, like, these days that I'm here in Cincinnati. I'm going to sleep now. I'll always I'll try, because, like I said, that girl woke me up, and now I don't really feel tired. Also, oh my gosh, I am starving. I literally have not eaten since like a proper meal since breakfast i had that then i had like this little i don't even know how to describe it it's like a it's not a pastry it's like dough filled with like potato and um ground beef they call it an enchilada it's a little bit spicy but i had that enchilada pop on it was like this big maybe and then i had some chips and I had some tea, and that's all I've had all day. Or I guess that was yesterday. So I'm like starving, and I don't think there's any food here. No, I need to check. The only thing I think there are chips, but I don't even see the chips that they said were mine. Oh my gosh, no, there's some stuff here in the in the fridge. Oh my gosh. What's this? I think I might need to heat it up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, do you see this? It's pizza. I'm about to have some pizza at 5 a.m. <laughs> so my mom had told me that her friend that lives here made them like some cauliflower pizza. It was like sausage, um, mushrooms, blue cheese. Another blue cheese was on the other one. I don't know what it was, but that's the one that I just put in the microwave because then there was another one that was like pear blue cheese and bacon, I think but that wasn't the one that came out first. But if I'm still hungry, I guess I'll eat it too. But I feel like with this one piece, it'll be enough. Okay, so I'm still a little bit hungry, so I think I'm gonna eat another slice. Although I saw this one's cut like different, it's like smaller pieces. So I think I'll just like eat a tiny piece just to try it. And cause I feel like I'm still a little bit hungry, but look at it. This one is pear, it was pear blue cheese walnut. That's what it was. And I think the other one was sausage, bacon, mushroom, and spinach. But yeah, this one I'm excited to try. I've never had it. Oh, just with a pear on it. I'm gonna try the pizza now. I think. I don't know. It smells really good. Although you know, sometimes blue cheese is too overpowering, so it doesn't make the taste good. Mm. Oh, There's something on it that gives it like a smoke flavor. It's actually really good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I think I have to take the walnuts off. It's too crunchy for my taste. But I like how the pear and the cheese with like the bread of the, well, you know, the dough of the pizza. That's really good. 
I burnt my mouth. Oh, it's a little combination of flavors. But I think I take off the walnut. I didn't really like the walnut on it. But I like the the pear. I feel like it would be good like maybe like instead of walnut I put some bacon. <laughs> or you know the little like bacon bits or something. To have the crunch, but I feel like it's a different type of crunch. And like I don't know if I like how the walnut tastes on a pizza. It's kinda weird. But Overall, it's good. Like, I feel like I don't think I'd order it if it was like at a restaurant. But like, if somebody served it, I'd eat it. It's edible. <laughs> so I finished eating them. I feel I honestly still feel kind of hungry, but I'm not gonna eat anymore. I'm gonna try to go to sleep, but I just don't feel tired. I don't know why. I just don't feel tired. <sighs> so I'm just gonna like close my eyes. Because sometimes, you know, you don't feel tired and then you are. So, yeah. Mm, also, I don't want to, like, clarify why I was doing so much crying. I feel like even though I grew up with my dad and stuff, like, okay, I would be at school more than half of the day. Then after school, I have homework. And then after that, it's time to go to bed. Because we'd have to go to bed at, like, 9 on school days. And then, like, the weekends, sometimes we'd hang out together, but it wasn't, like, consistent or like frequent and i don't know i feel like when you're like a teenager you don't really want to hang out with your parents that much and then university started and i was always busy or our schedules would not match so then like once i could do something like even if it was just like watch a movie he would be too tired because he had been working all day so it's not like we would even spend time together these past two months <laughs> i dropped <laughs> i dropped so i feel like everything happens for a reason you know and if I wouldn't have dropped, I never would have been able to spend that time with my dad. I'm crying. <laughs> it's like whenever I'd leave, I wouldn't be sad. Like, I'd be like, okay, like, I don't miss him. But I already do miss him because we were working together every day. I don't know. I just, um, we bonded in a different way that we had. It. It, it, so it was like with my mom, too. That's why. <laughs> To me, it's so sad when I have to leave. Also, I need to add that working with him made me appreciate him even more. I'm sorry for being a hot mess in this video. But, I don't know. I don't think I have that many viewers, so... It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got tears in my ear. It feels like when you're in a pool and the water gets stuck in your face. I, feel like I need to go to sleep because I'm just like talking nonsense. I'm just like rambling. But I can't sleep. And yeah, just thank you for watching my video. Um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.